everybody welcome to the show I'm chef Nadal and we are uh, going into today's man cave edition of the show um, which is gonna be sultry sliders we're gonna have some nice crispy onion rings for you guys watching the soccer game in the background I'm gonna get ready to open this beer up it's man day so we get ready to take it there all right welcome to the show welcome to the show like I said today is man cave day and we're gonna do some definite man stuff you know we got some sliders we go prepare um we don't have too many vegetables so we will you know we're sticking to the man cave thing no vegetables we got some nice sliders we got some onion rings um we will do stuffed stuffed sliders today so now you know that it's going to be incredible as far as the ingredients we got blue cheese that we can stuff into it we got cheddar we got some pineapple american cheese bacon jalapenos i mean you can stuff whatever you want into your burgers you know as long as it come out you know just the way you like it that's all that matters so we're gonna get started making some patties and what we're gonna do we got some 80 20 ground beef right here that I already mixed up um, I put some minced onions in here chopped garlic um, what's the shit sauce a couple more things if you really want to know you gotta check the website but we're gonna make a couple patties start it off what you do is you just grab you some ground beef and you don't want to make it too much, not too much, not too little. You want to just get it just fine. Thin, thin down enough to where, but it's basically going to be like a double burger in one burger. You're going to have two patties. You stuff it with the beef, stuff it with the cheese, and you go. So you can make a couple, few pa a couple patties in advance and just stuff them with whatever you like. I'm going to do a, a handful right now and then we're going to go from there. But Make a couple patties just to start. We got two patties here. You're gonna make a thin patty down with your hands real good. And this one I think we're gonna do, mm, let's say blue cheese. Take some crumbled meat. Well, let me, let me first yeah, make sure you're working with the meat. You gotta rinse your hands. The raw meat, you don't wanna put it in anything and contaminate anything. So you wanna make sure you do that. Okay, so now we clean. We're going to take the blue cheese, put it right in the middle, and I think we'll take a little bit of bacon. Put that right in the middle as well. A little bit more. Nothing wrong with bacon. Ain't nothing wrong with just putting more and more bacon in it. Bacon's everybody's friend. You want to take the patty, and what you want to do is you want to crimp your edges. So you make sure that nothing leaks out of it when it's cooking. Because cheese will leak a whole lot. So, get your patty nice and smooth, and you set that to the side. So that's the bacon blue cheese burger, and we're going to start working on another patty. And like I said, you can stuff your burgers with whatever you want. You know, you can stuff it with jalapenos. If you like it spicy, you can stuff it with anything. Pineapples, if you want fruit in it, that's something different. You know, it's just uh, something different, you know, and that's, that's the whole thing about stuffed burgers is you can put whatever you want into the ingredients into the burgers and into uh your sliders if you want to do some people can put ham in it so i've seen people do uh pieces of sausage in it i've seen all kinds of stuff inside of burgers you can stuff your burgers with anything um and nowadays they got things that you can buy you know and just stuff your burgers but i like to do mine by hand because i mean that's the only way to go you know but um we're going to do this one, it's going to be, let me see, what are we working with? We're working with some pineapple, we will do a couple slices of pineapple, let's just leave it at that because I want to put some teriyaki on that later, so that's going to be good. Nice thick sliders, and just, I mean we call them sliders but they're big as burgers, you know, I mean it's man cave day so we're going to do everything big today, you know, just for the men. Okay, so we're going to throw these on the grill. Make a couple more for y'all. So we got that hot flat top grill. Put this here so I know which one is which. And we're gonna make a couple more. I'm gonna tie my hair up because it's getting in my way. I'm getting a little hot. And uh, I think I'm gonna pop one of these beers. Um, it's almost halftime on this game, so we're probably gonna have to take a little break. So 
All right, we're back. Um, as you can see and you can hear, we got the sliders, a couple on the grill already. I'm gonna make a couple of more. Um, but first, let me you know, crack this bill over since it is man day. Anyway, we gotta make a couple of more of these. I think this one that we do, we're gonna do uh, jalapenos, since I got some jalapenos over here. Maybe I'll throw a couple pieces of bacon in that one. Because I'm thinking in the end, since we're making those onion rings, I'm going to put a couple of onion rings on this thing. Some barbecue sauce. Make that Texas type of, you know, burger. It's going to be perfect. Get two patties down. Okay. Right, we got some jalapenos here. Take a couple of them. And we're going to put them right in the center of this burger. Oh man, that's gonna be nice and spicy. We'll take this other one. Oh, you know what? We'll put the bacon on this too. A couple pieces of the bacon. Put it right in the center. And hey, what the hell? I will throw some little cheddar in there. You know. Put the other patty on top. We might need a little bit more meat on this one, because this one not gonna fill out good. But make sure it fill out right and you can smooth those edges. So you don't have nothing leaking out. These go, look like these go turn more into burgers and sliders. But you know, it's man cave day. Like I said, we do everything big on man cave day. I'll throw this one right back on the grill too. Looks like it's almost time to flip a couple of these. So, like I said, you know, you're touching that raw meat. You gotta make sure your hands clean. You don't want to contaminate everything. So. Cause you put your hands in everything, so make sure your hands clean. Like you're trying to flip these. Oh yeah, look at the crust on that. That's looking good. Now you, with these burgers, depending on how you want to cook it, some people like it medium, some people like it medium rare, some people like it well done. So you want to make sure your burgers are cooked to how people like it. You know, um, these are gonna be well done burgers. The crust on that is perfect. It looks like so. We will let those cook for another three or four minutes on the side. Maybe three or four minutes on each side if you want it well done because it's thin layer of meat. Then you got your stuff and then you got another thin layer of meat. So you want to make sure you cook it on both sides if you want it well done. So, But yeah, we're going to make a couple more of these sliders. I'm going to make a couple more of the blue cheese sliders, a couple more of the cheddar sliders, a couple more of the teriyaki sliders. Hey, it, it, it's endless when you're dealing with stuffed burgers. You can put whatever you want in it. So you want to make sure you definitely... You know, keep it, keep it, keep a broad horizon on your ideas of what you want because, I mean, like I said, the sky's endless when you're talking about sliders and stuffed burgers. So we're gonna start on uh, the battle for the onion rings, and uh, we're gonna do a beer battle today, and that's gonna be what it is. And when we come back, I'm gonna show y'all exactly how we get those extra crispy onion rings. Gonna be perfect. All right, right back to it. So now we're getting ready to get into this batter. And what we're going to do today is we're going to do this onion, uh, onion for these onion rings, and we're going to do this beer batter. Um, and, and we're going to do what we call a tempura batter. And a lot of Japanese use that to fry their um, chicken and shrimp and whatnot. And uh, we start that off, and then we go into a panko, which makes that extra crispy onion ring that you need. So we're going to start off with some flour. We're going to take mm, maybe a cup and a half, maybe two cups of flour. We need a lot of flour. Cause we got a lot of onion rings, so we got to have a batter that is perfect. So you want to make sure that your batter is a little bit more thin than pancake batter, but kind of the consistency of pancake batter, if you know what I'm saying. Um, we also got some cornstarch that we're going to use. Put some of the cornstarch in there with that. And this is my secret ingredient that people don't know about. Instant mashed potatoes. Throw some of that in there. Mix that up. Mix that up good, and this is the time if you want to put any other seasonings in it, uh, cayenne pepper, you can do salt pepper, you want to make it spicy, you can do salty and go Old Bay, whatever you want. I know people like Old Bay, but um, we're going to go into this batter now. What we're going to do is add the definite man cave, and what make it man cave is the, the beer. It don't matter what kind of beer you get, as long as it's fizzy, if you, if whatever beer you drink to taste is what you're going to use. If you want to use a lager or if you want to use a white beer or a dark beer, it's totally up to you. Whatever you want to do, you know. 
but you just want to make sure it's fizzy and you want to make sure you got the bubbles. A lot of people use club soda, but today we doing beer batter since it's man cave day. You can stir it up real good. And as you can see, we got a good consistency going. It looks like pancake batter almost. And we will just let this sit for a couple of minutes and that corn starts to start to rise a little bit. Everything will start to set too good to it. It'll be perfect. See, that's a little too thick. So what we need to do, no problem, we're going to add another beer. <laughs> it's no problem, right? A little bit more beer in there. We'll set this to the side. I'll probably end up drinking both of those. So, get that going. And we're going to let this sit for about five minutes. Now, i got to flip these burgers over. A couple of these look like they need to be ready. That's, the, that's perfect. That's the consistency we want right there. You don't want it lumpy, but you want it nice and light, you know? You want it to stick to your onion rings good. Okay. We'll set that down. And we're gonna go flip these burgers. It looks like a couple of these are ready to come off. Okay. So we got that blue cheese burger that's ready to come off. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Nice crust on it. Got that pineapple teriyaki burger. That's ready to come off. We're gonna flip this other one. This other one. Oh yeah, that's perfect. We need another three or four minutes on that side. Okay, so while you got your batter ready, you want to make sure your oil is heated to about 350, running a good medium temperature, because you don't want to burn the panko crumbs that we go flip these around in. Oh yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect batter. So we'll get our oil ready, and then we'll go drop these onion rings in the batter. We'll coat them with the panko. Let me show you just how to do it when you come back. Okay, so now we're getting ready to get into these onion rings. Now, the thing about onion rings is you want to make sure they're crispy, man. Don't nobody like no soggy onion rings. You know, you let them sit for five or ten minutes and then they're not even good no more. So what I did was I made the beer batter. You saw me make the beer batter and then I let it sit for a little bit so it can get a little stiff, you know. A little bit thinner than pancake batter right now. So we're going to drop a couple onion rings in here. I got my oil going right now at about 350. So this will be nice and hot as soon as I put it down in the oil. Um, you want to make sure you have two forks for this because you don't want your panko crumbs to get lumpy. So I got one fork to drop the onions in, one fork to take the onions out. Swirl them through the pancake batter. So you want to make sure you get a nice coat on the onion rings and you want to bring them straight to the panko like this. Okay. You know, but as big as these onion rings are, you can only be able to cook them a couple at a time. So you take your other fork and you toss them in the onion rings. I'm making a mess. I'm gonna make a mess, but hey, it's man day. We can be messy. We leave the cleaning to the women, you know. <laughs> no, seriously though. We gotta definitely get these pankos coated real good. Make sure they're nice and coated so when you drop them in that hot oil, they're ready to go. And these only gonna take about maybe five minutes to cook total. If you're dropping them in a pan full of oil, you want to do about two minutes each side because you're going to flip them over. You know, if you're dropping them in a deep fryer, five minutes. That's it. You drop them right in that hot oil. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's going good. You see why you want to do that batter is because you want these panko crumbs to stick to that batter. So you drop a couple onion rings in there. Let them go for a few minutes. Where's that fork? I lost it. Okay. It dropped into the batter. That's fine. It's a bowl. Let's go do stuff like that. It's man day. You know, we gonna get a little messy and we gonna get a little reckless. I hear them burgers sizzling over there, so we gonna get ready to take those off the grill in a second. Get that out the way. Coat this with some more panko. That's perfect. That is perfect. And these gonna be the best tasting, crispiest onion rings that you have ever ate in your life. You will thank me later, trust me. And the last one down in there. See, look, look, a couple of these are already ready to go almost. I get a little bit of flour off my hands, but yeah, you know, we're gonna just do this over and over until we got a pile of onion rings that we're gonna be ready to eat. And like I said, these will be the best onion rings you ever made. Make sure 
you know, you put that that beer in there. If you are alcohol free, you know, you can use club soda. You know, a lot of people use the club soda, but we doing a beer battle over here. What today is? Today is man day. So we doing beer. And you can use whatever kind of beer you want. Make your batter, make sure it's not too thick, make sure it's not too thin. And you wanna, you know, make sure your onion rings come out good. Looks like we're ready to bring a couple out of here. Now, let's see what we got. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's crispy, that's crunchy. Perfect onion rings. And it don't get no better. Let that one go a little bit longer. Now when they're big like this, you don't want to pile them all in a pot. You don't want them to be sticking together and getting all clumpy and stuff like that. You want them to be just like this. And make sure when you bring them out, you season them. Put a little salt on there. Or you put a little adobo on there. Cayenne pepper, whatever you want. Don't over season it, but make sure you season it because they'll be a little bland. And if you want to talk about crunchy, this is crispy, crunchy. Mmm. I'm sorry, I had to do that. I'm so sorry, I had to do that. I love onion rings, man. Give me a napkin. I got a couple more I'm gonna put on here. We'll get the sliders ready. We'll get the plates ready. We'll be ready to serve up. Soccer game still going on. Man day. Let's do it. All right, then we right back here. You can see we got everything already ready. Like I said, it's man day. We got the sliders. We got the onion rings. We got a nice place set up here. If you want, you can put extras on it, extra cheese, extra jalapenos, extra bacon, whatever you want, you can do that. This is sliders, man day, making the man thing. So we got our sliders here, and what we're gonna do real quick, because you can't have onion rings without the sauce, we're gonna make this onion ring sauce. So I got some Miracle Whip real quick. You can use mayonnaise if you want, you know what I'm saying? But we're gonna use Miracle Whip. Use this glass, because I took the shot a second ago. All right, but we're gonna use this Miracle Whip. Put that in there at the bottom, that's your base. Boom, that's perfect. Then you go take some hot sauce, put that in there. You can never go wrong with hot sauce. Like, I'm a hot sauce kind of guy, so you can never go wrong with hot sauce. Put some of that in there, take some ketchup. Boom, put that in there. Squirt that in there a little bit. So you can, looking for a nice pink color. So you wanna mix that up. Real quick. And this is for all the delicious crispy onion rings that you eat. At this point, also, you can take salt pepper, season that real quick. You know, make it look pretty, make it taste good. If it look pretty, then it tastes good. So, boom. Now we got our onion ring sauce. We'll put that to the side. Boom. At this point, like I said, you want to add all your extra toppings if you want. Excuse me. I'm going to take one sip of this beer. Yep. And I'm going to take a bite of this burger if you don't mind. I'm sorry. I got to tease y'all a little bit. Mmm. Mmm. I threw a little buffalo sauce on that. Is anything you want. If you want to put barbecue sauce, buffalo sauce, hot wing sauce, whatever you want. It's man day. Do whatever you want, you know? Well, it's got the pineapples in it, as you can see it. Oh my God, it's so good. But yeah, thank y'all for coming out. If you want any of these recipes, you can check the website, you know, and we can um, make it happen just like that. Chef No, and we got man day. Man day. With the uh, with the buffalo with the buffalo sliders and we got the onion sliders we got all the sliders you can think of the crispy onion rings still crispy mmm it's still crispy let me take a little bit of this put in that sauce mmm mmm I'm spilling all over the place it don't matter you know why cause it's band aid baby chef the dog come back with me again. We're going to do it. whatever you can think of. Hit us up. Whatever you want, we're going to turn it out into a whole new experience. Because this is how we do here. Band-Aid, baby. Make sure you enjoy your food. Love you.